Hi guys, my makeup is a little smudged. That's not great. I just got back from my family house. They got back from vacation. We had dinner together. Now I'm having some goldfish watching Gossip Girl. To everyone who is freaking out that it's off of Netflix, it's on HBO Max. I didn't even like want to do a Gossip Girl rewatch because I just rewatched back in like March or April. But Brianna and Steph were watching when I was home for Christmas. I've just been watching random episodes for the past couple of days. I found so many cute clothes like I told you guys at my grandma's the other day and I just feel very re-inspired like fashion wise so I'm kind of just watching like random Gossip Girl episodes to get like fashion inspo. It always helps to re-spark that and I feel like every time I re-watch different things catch my eye. It reminds me of different things in my closet that I could wear. So anyway, I'm watching right now just to kind of have on in the background and I just opened this big package that I got from Overstock. I don't know if I mentioned that I got this. It's like a desk hutch that you put on top of your desk. We're unboxing it now and I'm gonna build it and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on the desk. Hopefully it looks good. All right, I'll check back in with you. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. Honestly, I'm really tired. Exhaustion just kind of hit me out of nowhere. So I think this is where I'm gonna stop for today. This is what everything looks like. This is really sturdy, honestly, and it was pretty easy to build. So I will leave it linked down below if you're interested. And you can tell I kind of just like haphazardly put some stuff here. But I think what's really great is I'm taking things from my actual bookshelf. I needed to clear up space for actual books here. So I'm kind of taking the knickknacks from here and putting them here. And I think it looks really good. And without even trying, I've kind of accidentally found myself with this like pink and brown and white color scheme with little bits of black. And I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna like go in depth with everything that I have here because I already know that it's probably gonna change a few times over the next week or so. So once I have a better idea, then I will definitely update you guys on this. I think it looks really great. Let me step all the way back so you can see. This is like how high the ceiling are. Don't mind my suitcase over there. I have to unpack from the weekend, but my mindset was like, I had that big Stendig calendar there before, which is a beautiful piece and I think it's really great. But if I'm being honest, like I really needed the wall space for shelving more, but I didn't want to put shelves into the wall because I want to move this year. So that seems silly to like create more holes in the wall, but I think this is a good kind of easy in between solution. So I think it looks pretty good. I desperately need to take Take my makeup off this looks so bad i'm done watching gossip girl now so i think i'm gonna watch a few youtube videos and have some peppermint bark that my dad sent home with me from christmas and then probably go to bed early so that i can spend tomorrow which is monday new day let's go unpacking my suitcase doing errands maybe getting groceries stuff like that i'm going to take care of my face <laughs> and I will uh, check in with you guys tomorrow. Hi, we have returned from Trader Joe's. This happens to me all the time in New York and I was just thinking like, I don't have enough experience grocery shopping in any other city to compare it. Whenever you go to Trader Joe's in New York, the chances of them actually having in stock every single thing that you want is very, very slim. And it's just so frustrating because I can never do all of my grocery shopping in one go. I don't know why that like bothers me so much. Anyway, I'll show you what I got, but it's pretty dumb and a lot of it's the same, whatever. I got some more of these olive packets because I really liked that this was a particular serving size to have for like an individual serving of pasta. It was the perfect amount. So I'm gonna keep doing that because I like to have pasta, which I got more of, that brown rice fusilli. This one, and I either have this with arrabbiata and you know, you've seen me make it before, or like the olive oil with olive and oregano kind of combination. I always get these and finish them in like two days. I got two things of bread this time. I don't know why i'm pretty sure i've talked about these the artisan rolls that are like asiago they're absolutely insane and then i also got the panole french sweet milk rolls also i got this and i don't know why i've never tried it the buffalo style chicken dip 
absolutely insane. I was just having a little snack with these like tortilla chips that I get from Whole Foods. Honestly, amazing. I don't know why I've never gotten this before. But really, like the only other things that I got were toilet paper, two avocado bags. They have like four in each one and some bananas. I wanted to get sweet peppers. They didn't have any of those. I wanted to get a bouquet of flowers and all of them honestly were ugly. And I kind of have no appetite. Like there's really nothing that I want for dinner tonight. I kind of want to go pick up some wine because I don't have wine anymore. I don't even really want to have a big dinner. Ugh. I guess I'm gonna get wine now. Oh, I just cracked my back. I realized I didn't show you guys. I got these wine glasses from Crate and Barrel, which have been on my wish list for literally ever. They're the Edge wine glass, and this is the red wine one. The white wine is just too small. I don't like it. I don't care if it's right or not. I also put a tequila soda in here, which also doesn't really make sense, but I just wanted to. I wanted to use my new glass, and even though I just went to buy a bottle of red wine, my taste buds are all over the place lately, and I feel like I just don't know what I want to eat or in life. I'm very indecisive currently. I'll just save the wine for another day. I was feeling something a little bit lighter. I opted for tequila soda. Honestly guys, like this is just such a cool chic glass. I love this. That was so strong. Okay, anyway, I also picked up sushi from the grocery store and a package of raspberries. My dad makes fun of me because I eat an entire package in one sitting. This is what I needed, just like light and fresh. I'm gonna eat the sushi and I'm gonna place some Amazon orders that I've been meaning to do to kick things off for the new year. Hello guys, it's the afternoon. It's actually almost five o'clock. I have had the absolute laziest day. I literally woke up at 8 a.m., was texting one of my friends, fell asleep, and then woke up again at two. So, looks like we're right back to our normal programming. <laughs> I was actually just taking care of some bills and just online organizing, getting things ready for the month. Even though I walked to go get my coffee, I just feel like I need to go outside again and like listen to music and take a walk and do something. So I'm gonna go to like a CVS or something or maybe a Dwayne Reed that's farther from my apartment than normal. I wanna look for a few hair accessories. I've been feeling randomly inspired to do different stuff with my hair and I really wanna find like a little skinny black headband, like those little skinny, very thin plastic ones. And I also just want some of those thicker kind of cotton headbands like for doing face masks or doing doing skincare, whatever, just to have your hair out of your face. I literally don't have a single headband in this apartment and I don't think I ever have. I have tons of scrunchies. I have a lot of those like jaw clip and banana clips, but I don't have any headbands. I'm just gonna stroll and look for those things. And then on my way home, I think I'm gonna go to the market and get pasta sauce because it's the one thing I like totally forgot to get yesterday. And I'll just have a nice night in, make pasta, have a glass of wine and maybe try and take some photos, do a new hairstyle. Oh, that's the other thing I wanna look for. I want to look for this like neon eyeliner that LA Girl makes. I was just looking online for like cheap neon eyeliners because I want to try and do like a blue neon eyeliner look maybe. I know Marc Jacobs does great eyeliners, but I just don't want to spend like $28 on a blue eyeliner that I'll probably never use. So I'm going to see if CVS has what I'm thinking of and maybe I'll do like a fun makeup look tonight. We're back to me literally inventing things to do with my time. <laughs> Honestly, being an only child has really well prepared me for this pandemic because it's been almost a year of essentially not being able to work and just sitting in my apartment day after day. But somehow I always just managed to keep coming up with stuff to do. And granted, a lot of that requires spending money. Sometimes it's being creative with the things that you have. I'm gonna take a walk now with my new AirPods, which I've been loving and I'm so obsessed with them. I don't know how I survived without AirPods this whole time. They're just so much sleeker than obviously my Beats that have 9 million rhinestones on them. The noise cancellation is like kind of nuts. At first it freaked me out. Genuinely, I was like kind of scared, but now I really like it. I really, really need to get my nails done this week. They are pretty grown out, which I guess you can't tell from this far away. And I need my lashes done because they look wonky. Ugh. Uh, I'm gonna have to schedule those appointments too for this week. I just genuinely, you guys, I hate sitting or laying when it comes to the lashes for an hour, hour and a half and not being able to do anything. I absolutely hate it. I like don't mind making appointments. I just don't like being at the appointment. Okay, I'm gonna wake up. Also, I'm not wearing my cat sweatshirt for the third day in a row. I switched to Harry Styles. Oh my God, 
I love how perfectly disheveled I look. I am procrastinating making pasta. It's 8 p.m. and all I've had today was like some deli croissant sandwich thing and basically the equivalent of two large iced coffees and now I'm having a Diet Coke so I'm unhinged. Anyway, I've literally just been editing photos, organizing, but like I said, I went to CVS and I actually think I found good stuff. So I want to do a cutie hairstyle. I've been watching so many like TikTok inspired hairstyle videos on YouTube today. I think I'm going to do it before I wash my hair because it's like a pigtail one, the one that I have in mind to try. And I want to take a photo like with just the hair and either, I don't want to say not wearing anything, but I'll wear something really simple on the top and have the focus be my hair and my makeup because I really want to try doing something with like a neon blue liner. I did some Googling and apparently this CVS drugstore brand LA Girl has good neon liners. I walked to CVS and I found it. I also grabbed one in hot pink, which technically says it's a lip liner, even though it looks exactly the same. And the sign said eyeliner slash lip liner. So that makes me think that you can use it for either. So we'll see. The blue one is in the color electric. I mean, it looks pretty neon. So let's see. Oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. OMG, love it. Really went on very smoothly. Okay, love that for me. So I got the blue one, the pink one. They had a bunch of other colors too, but I feel like these are the easiest for me to incorporate into my style. And then I did find like a black little thin headband. And this one said it was moldable, which I was like, okay. And it honestly is. How do I show you this? I kind of already molded it to my head, but like you press on it and it literally will mold to your head and it's very comfortable see look like the headband's such a weird shape now but you can bend it super easily to be whatever shape head you have i think we're gonna go see michelle on thursday so my plan is to do the little pigtail hairstyle i was thinking of today with the blue liner look some type of basic top so as to draw more attention to this I have no idea where I'm gonna take the photo. That will be to be determined. And then I'll wash my hair, be able to wash all the makeup off tonight. I'll have just like clean, normal hair tomorrow. And then I think Thursday when I see Michelle, maybe we'll do this style. All right, well, um, I think I have to make pasta now and I really don't want to. I just wish the pasta would make itself. I have to do it now though, because otherwise it's gonna get too late and I'm gonna get too tired and I really wanna take these pictures. I think the best advice that I can give people who struggle with creating content at home is make a plan for yourself, just go with it, be a little bit flexible. So if things don't quite go the way you want, be willing to adjust, but like make a plan and stick with it and you will have created content. And it's very unlikely that it's gonna be completely unusable. Like you're definitely gonna have something that works. Let's get to cooking, my version of cooking. Um, all right, so in case it's not obvious, I just finished taking some photos. My eye makeup did not turn at all out the way I wanted it to. I really wanted to do this aqua color underneath and then also use it for the wing, but it definitely didn't glide on as easily on the top, so I ended up just doing black. I kinda like it, I don't know. I looked at the photos and I feel like the blue peeks out just enough to be a little bit more interesting and honestly my hair turned out so cute I think in the pictures I'm wearing a bodysuit from IMG that I have not worn in like a year and a half I literally forgot I had it because it was in a random drawer with some pants so why do I feel like the lighting is like not that good I'm really tired now I finished my wine and I watched like four episodes of Gossip Girl and now I'm going to take a shower and take all of this off and probably have another glass of wine and edit some of the photos, maybe post a couple. I always like post photos to story the day of, but I end up not putting them to my feed for like another couple of days. I don't know why I do that. That's probably wrong. That's probably not what you're supposed to do. I just posted this photo today, which I think is so funny because this was literally me on Sunday and all of a sudden here we are on like Tuesday. Like I look so wholesome there. I mean, how is this the same person? You know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> I just stood up and now I feel like this lighting is way better. My hair looks really dark. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. It's Thursday. I clearly just got out of the shower. Now I'm going to open these packages. I decided to unbox on camera because I'm pretty sure this is from Abby, my best friend in LA. Because she told me there were a couple boxes coming to my apartment from her for Christmas. Let's see what it is. Oh 
my god, I love her. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. Okay, so she got me a steamer. This is from Abby. She got me a steamer because if you guys ever see on Instagram when I take photos with that like satin backdrop, I always send her pictures like, hey, do you think this one is cute? And she's like, please get the wrinkles out of your backdrop. Honestly, I just wanted one of these in general. And it's one of those things I would absolutely never want to buy for myself. But thank God someone else got it for me. Oh my God, I love this. Especially because with all of my realization dresses being silk, the silk backdrops, I have a lot of clothing like satin skirts and stuff that this would be absolutely perfect for. Okay, so I will leave a link to this one down below. Complete Steam by Conair. Love that. Thank you, Abby, if you're watching. This is like literally the perfect gift. You knew exactly what I needed. Okay, also I have a very big box from Amazon. I ordered like packages of the Health Aid Booch Pop. You guys have definitely seen me get it before. I only meant to get one package, which has six in it, but I accidentally ordered two. So now I have 12, but I guess that's fine. I also got a tongue scraper because I needed a new one. <laughs> and this fridge monkey, which is for like beer bottles in your refrigerator so you can lay them down and they won't roll around. I'm very limited on storage in this apartment as you guys know. So you have to be creative sometimes. Well, <laughs> I guess that's that. I need to finish drying my hair and doing my makeup and getting my cutie outfit on. I'm going to wear another piece that I got from my grandmother's closet today. So I'm very excited to style that. I just have Gossip Girl on while I'm getting ready. And then I have to go to Brooklyn. Okay, well, anyway, I need to uh, fix all of this. <laughs> Hello, I'm home from Michelle's now. I did not show you me getting ready. I didn't take my camera with. Today was just not the day for that. I didn't feel like filming anything. We just had such a nice chill day, played with her cats, ordered food to her apartment, took some photos in the neighborhood, watched YouTube videos, that was literally it. But I will show you my outfit because it was cute. I am wearing this headband that I got from CVS the other day. This like top and tank situation was from my grandmother's closet and I knew right away that this is pretty much exactly how I would style it. It's a very thin material and yes, I took my coat off and I took pictures like this outside even though it's like 32 degrees, it's fine, I really don't care. But yeah, I thought it was so cute. I think it'll look cute with like jeans in the summer too. Anyway, I just wore my black skirt from Forever 21. My tights look like this because Tom, Michelle's roommate's cat, like likes to go like this. And I honestly don't care. Like these tights are $5. I'll link them down below. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. And then I'm just wearing these big Unif boots that I love, you guys know. You have definitely seen them before. But yeah, follow me on Instagram and you can see the photos that I post in this outfit. I got some really cute ones. I'm sitting here with a glass of wine and honestly probably watch Hassan streaming on Twitch because obviously with everything going on in Congress, it's just, I don't wanna watch the news alone. I wanna watch it with Hassan. Then I, I just feel better. Let me just first open up some packages. I have more things from Amazon. I placed two separate orders and I honestly wasn't expecting all of it to come today. I need scissors. Some of this stuff I literally ordered yesterday. <gasps> I don't even know what this is. Oh yes, I do. Okay. This is just like fascinating adult content for you guys. I got this kind of multi-pack. I guess it comes in a box. It has two large ones and then like six of these smaller ones and they have magnets on the back. So I guess you can use them as magnets on your refrigerator, but I just need chip clips for a lot of the stuff that I get like at Trader Joe's. So a lot of the stuff I got this week was for that very purpose of like reorganizing the kitchen. Let's get back into my quote unquote routine. It's like kind of boring, but it's super useful and just makes your life easier. And I've literally had get new chip chip clips on my to-do list for like two months. I got two new satin pillowcases. You guys know how I am with sheets. Like I repurchase sheets constantly. It's a very bad toxic trait of mine. I'm much better about just like constantly washing satin pillowcases. However, there was one night, I don't really remember what exactly happened, but it was a very chaotic night. I came home sobbing. Actually, I know exactly what happened. I came home sobbing from being out. I was wearing like a lot of makeup and I just could not be bothered to take all of it off or maybe I thought I took it all off and I fell asleep on my beautiful satin pillowcase and ruined it. So I ordered two new ones. They're very inexpensive. I don't really feel bad about having to repurchase them. Oh, this is so boring. <laughs> I just got some of the black disposable masks. 
these are the best to wear when you're wearing makeup and a 50 pack is the smallest that I could find. So whatever, that'll last me a while. Okay, one more thing. I ordered these very tiny nude fishnets. I have an outfit planned that these would be perfect for. I've just really been into wearing tights and I think also rewatching Gossip Girl is like helping me be more into tights. And it's still pretty cold in New York. It's probably gonna be cold all the way through March. I'm trying to stay creative with still being able to wear skirts and dresses in tights, but like not always wearing these. I had a little bit of a brain blast to wear these nude fishnets with an outfit that I'm probably gonna wear next week. Hopefully it works out. I will link all this stuff down below for you guys. I'm gonna put on PJs, or actually, no, that's a lie. I'm gonna take all of my clothes off and put on my fuzzy pottery barn robe, which I will also link down below because it's amazing. I might read a little bit before I go to bed. I did that last night and felt really nice to do. Eee! Hi. Good morning, guys. It's not morning. It's like one o'clock. It's Friday. I decided I'm going to have a glasses day and just stay in my sweats inside, rest my little eyes, maybe read today. Just do some humble things, you know? I actually have a lot of editing to do vlog-wise, but also photos. I'm really happy that just from being in Chicago and also, I don't know, I guess just being more creative by myself, I've wound up with so many more potential photos to post to Instagram recently than I've felt like I've had in a really long time, which is good because then it makes me feel a lot better about taking days like this off to just do nothing. Thing. This is one more Amazon package that I have, which will help with that very thing. Oh my God, cute. This is a new Bluetooth remote for my phone and I got it in white because I just thought it was cute. Basically, if you guys have never used this, it is absolutely amazing. There's a little button here on the side. You flick up to turn it on. I'm pretty sure this uses a watch battery. Yes, it does. It uses a watch battery so you can buy replacements of those if you need one. Anyway, you turn on this little button on the side. Then you turn on the Bluetooth on your phone. It'll say like something shutter to connect. You connect the clicker to your phone. When you set up your phone, whether that be on a tripod or like just somewhere in your house, then you have this little clicker and you just try and like be discreet about it, which isn't hard if you're like me and a lot of the photos you take are just here. And you just click, 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 click click and um, it takes the photos. So that way when you're like posed, you don't have to run over to your phone and like hit the self timer again and run back and, and do that whole thing. I really find that it makes the photo taking process just really easy, really enjoyable. Yeah, I highly recommend one of these. They come in different colors, so I will leave them linked down below from Amazon as always, duh. I'm just waiting on one more thing. <laughs> I ordered a vanity mirror and that's coming tomorrow, so I will show you guys tomorrow. I really think I'm just going to have a chill day at home and do nothing and try not to spend any money. Hi guys, happy Saturday. It's one o'clock and I just woke up looking great. I ran to Duncan because I was in the mood for a ginormous iced coffee. Um, okay, I have some editing to do today and um, just a couple of like administrative things. I think I'm gonna be staying inside again today, but yesterday was like a stay inside and don't be that productive kind of day. Today is stay inside, but get a lot done. I just got this from Amazon and I'm gonna open it for you guys. It's very big. It's not that heavy though. It's a makeup mirror, which I 100% stalked Luna Montana, and I think I found the same mirror that she has. That's the only reason I bought it. I am just like more inspired, obviously, and trying to be very creative about Instagram photos that I take, and I'm not saying that I bought this just for the Instagram, because I didn't. I don't have a vanity mirror. I have like a little Conair one, but it doesn't have lights, and it's just not great. It was like 20 bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond when I was like in college. Therefore, I think you guys have seen when I do my makeup, I stand up in front of this mirror that I'm sitting in front of the big one and use that light to do my makeup it would just be nice to actually sit in my desk and use that vanity I got this and I also just think it looks so cool in my opinion we'll see how it looks I don't think it's like a gaudy makeup mirror like one of the ones where you walk in and it's like a big mirror and all the light it's not like that but it's like just modern enough I think to go with my stuff 
cord. It also comes with a magnifying mirror, like this is 10 times, and it has two suction cups, so you can stick it anywhere on the mirror or any other mirror that you have. I don't think I'm gonna use it because I don't wanna see what my face looks like 10 times close up. Oh my god, I love her. She's so cute. Okay, well, I'm gonna show you her. Ooh, she comes with a little cloth, even though we haven't plugged her in yet. Um, but it's not that heavy. There you are. There's the setup. There's my iced coffee and water and box cutter. But it looks like this. You touch to turn it on. You touch to make it bright, bright, bright. And then normal, warm toned, cool toned. And the mirror quality is very nice. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna set this up and then check back in with you. Okay, hi, it's plugged in. Let us observe. This is a new angle in my apartment. Okay. <gasps> oh my God, I'm a superstar. <laughs> you guys, wow, this light is perfect. Okay, wait, what does this do? Look here, I'll put you on the bulb so you can see what it actually does. Oh, okay, wait, M is warm toned, cool toned. No, I like the normal one. Oh my God, that's stunning. Then what is this? This is probably supposed to dim it. Uh, uh. Do you have to hold it? Oh shit, you have to hold it. Anyway, that is insane. This is what it looks like. Clearly I have like a thing for LED lights. There's definitely enough room just so I can show you. There's enough room for me to have my laptop there. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. You guys. This is just great news for me. I can do like more videos sitting here now. Okay, well, I have to charge my camera battery and get to editing and have some coffee and actually make something of my life. So I'll check in with you later. I just wanted to show you, I placed an order on Papier to get a journal and a 2021 planner. This was on my to-do list for this weekend. So I'm gonna show you the ones that I ordered because they're not gonna come until the end of January. So I may as well show you now. The order total was only $40 each notebook is like approximately 25 to 30 dollars i had a coupon code from a referral i also have my own referral code that i will leave linked down below so you guys can check out peppier this is the journal that i got it's called their demi notebook and maybe it's hard to see on the screen but it's white on the top and black on the bottom they have all different colors totally customizable that's just what it looks like on the back very basic i wanted something a little bit more minimal and then this is my planner which i've literally been obsessed with since Claudia posted that she had this notebook like literally last summer. It's their Jag print and I believe this is actually a very very dark navy but I don't care. I think it's amazing and I got my name 2021 and then you can get your initials down there in the corner. So this is like their 2021 planner. It has like a monthly overview, weekly breakdown, stuff like that. So that is the most productive thing that I've done today. I just loaded up the dishwasher and I should run that. I have Gossip Girl on in the background. It's already 4.15. I'm gonna make my bed and have a snack. Okay, well, <laughs> another package for me came and I don't have any idea what this is because I don't think I really ordered anything else and I don't recognize the return address, but my name is very clearly on it. I don't know if this is something else from Abby. Oh my God, it is from Abby. <gasps> oh my God. Wait, this is like so, ra I mean, it's not random, but oh my God, you guys, she got me an overose candle you know i love those and i haven't had one in so long wait that's like so random it's only random because like abby doesn't like material things like i do so i'm surprised she even knows what this candle brand is no offense abby if you're watching oh my god this is so nice i've literally just been burning ikea candles God, these candles smell insane. Before I open it, this is the new desk candle, which is probably my favorite. Here's a old depotted one, but then I've also tried the Anamorphine, and that one is also really good. They're just insane scents. Very, very, very nice. Oh my God, she got me the holographic one, guys. This is so sick. Oh my God, this looks so cool. Look at it. Oh my God, I love her. Where is she gonna go? Wow. Okay, I have to text her now. This is exciting. I will probably have some like weird thing for dinner. Just a combination of random stuff I have here. Then I'm going to take a very nice hot shower, crimp my hair or wave it, you know, and take some photos with my new mirror. Just a lovely Saturday night activity in quarantine. <laughs> okay. Wow, I have to text her. Oh God, this smells perfect. And I have to decide where this goes. <laughs>
I look different. All right, well, I just finished taking some Instagram photos. I want to work on, whoa, my hair looks like a lion, sorry. Um, I want to work on doing a video this week, basically going through all of my tools that I use to take Instagram photos by myself. I said that I was going to do that at the end of last year, but I didn't get around to it. So I think that is something very good to put on my agenda for this week. I should have shown you before I changed back into my Ariana Grande sweatshirt. And now, annoyingly, I just put all this makeup on and I honestly am gonna need to take it off pretty soon. But I just did a little, a little something like this. I got this new set from Fenty. Oh, you guys heard me complain about it like 900 times during Vlogmas. I got this new Fenty set. Honestly, I really do love it. Like it's so beautiful. The thread is kind of iridescent, like purpley blue. I'll show it to you one moment. See, it's very, very pretty. It looks super pretty on camera. I'm like not confident enough to just take laundry photos like this. And also to put them on my Instagram, I'm always nervous about getting banned or shadow band or whatever. Um, I've gotten like a community guideline strike a couple of times before in the past. I don't know what it is that sets it over the edge. And like, I look at so many other photos that girls post that I get inspired by. And I think to myself, like, how did that get by? But things that I do have gotten flagged. I'm not sure. So anyway, it's kind of challenging for me sometimes to think of like creative ways to shoot using like lingerie and make it appropriate for my feed. For story, I don't really care. I put anything on my story, but for feed, I don't know. I just try and like look at what some other people have done. Like I said, I was inspired by Luna's vanity mirror and I thought, okay, that might be kind of like a sort of chic way to take a photo. I didn't even bother putting the bottoms on. If you guys end up seeing the photos on my Instagram, you'll know the truth. I was, I was gonna say I was wearing sweatpants pants on the bottom. I wasn't, I wasn't wearing anything. I just was like, I don't even want to bother putting the bottoms on. So I didn't. And then I just wore this like sheer robe that I have from Victoria's Secret over it. And I think it was fine. I tried to do this a little earlier because normally, oh, thank God it's only 1040. Normally I do this and sorry, the top of my head is cut off. Normally when I do this, I don't even start until like nine o'clock or 10 o'clock. Like I start getting ready and showering and doing my hair and all that thing. And then I end up being finished at like one or two in the morning. And I've been trying really hard to get on a better sleep schedule. And I honestly think it's been working because I've been waking up around 11, which is really good. I'm glad that I did everything a little bit earlier tonight so I can go to bed at a reasonable hour. I wanna read again before I go to sleep. I've been really liking my book. I'll show you guys that a little bit later. I didn't exactly eat dinner. I had a bowl of broccoli. I made some more of that like holiday Moscow mule that I made with you guys during Vlogmas. I had like leftover ingredients for that. So I made that and took my photos and I had Gossip Girl on in the background and then it was getting a little too distracting so then I put on my Gossip Girl soundtrack, which I do want to say this. I'm going to leave. I think I always leave my Spotify down below for you guys. I'm pretty sure that I do. If I don't, I'll start adding it. You think you know me? Go through my Spotify. That's how you really know me. Something about listening to the Gossip Girl playlist while I get ready is just so so like the Gossip Girl soundtrack made me who I am. Alexandra Pitsavas is like my hero and she curated the music for Gossip Girl. I think I'm gonna leave the makeup on a little bit longer just cause I think I look nice. And then I'm gonna watch a couple more episodes of Gossip Girl, hopefully go to sleep before like 1 a.m. Let's check and see if anything happened in the news while I was having my photo shoot because it's been <sighs> a lot lately. Oh my God, speak of the devil. Look at this meme. Which party incited a violent riot in the Capitol? GOP girl. <laughs> oh God. I love the internet. All right, I need to turn my camera off because sometimes I just leave it on and talk and talk and I'm really saying absolutely nothing. Should I end this vlog here? I think I should. It's been a week. Okay, so this was a very jumbled week in my life back in New York. Did we really do anything? I mean, no. Do we ever? Also, no. I'll leave all of that stuff linked down below. So many products from Amazon. Anything else that I mentioned will be down below in the description box. Please subscribe if you are not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. All of my socials and everything will be linked in the description as always. My goal for 2021, guys, is to do less vlogs because this sounds counterintuitive. Vlogs are my favorite thing to do and I love vlogging. However, they're just really not 
not smart for me to be making if I'm trying to grow my channel and I am trying to grow my channel this year. Vlogs, I'm sure you can understand, aren't very like searchable, which is why videos that are more dedicated, like sit down videos like my fall fashion haul, my realization video, and my Alexander Wang video, those have done so much better because they're very easily searched. I just wanted to do a vlog to start off the year again. It feels comfortable for me. I don't wanna say it's the easiest thing for me to do, but it's just the most natural. That's why you got this but I will be making more of a conscious effort to do sit down style videos. I'm gonna aim to do two a month with maybe an extra vlog thrown in, we'll see. On that note, if you have any requests for anything specific, like what's in my bag, handbag collection, jewelry collection, things like that, just let me know and I'll do it. All right, bye. Thanks for watching, kisses.